Hi. Hello everyone. Uh, today I thought we would do something a little bit different for our YouTube video. So I've got a, a special guest with me. This is Jessica and we might get the youngest coming to join us in the picture at some point, Isabel. She's just sat here uh, entertaining herself at the minute. So I thought we'd do something a little bit all age. So we're going to play a game of guess what is in front of your face. So Jessica is going to pull a blindfold down like so. And I'm going to put random objects in front of her. She doesn't know what they are uh, in front of her uh, so she can guess what's in front of her face. Are you ready, Jessica? Yes, I am. Right. Object number one. Jessica, what is in front of your face? A banana? Excellent. Right, you ready for object number two? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Object number two. Jessica, what is in front of your face? <laughs> is it your smelly? Trainer. It is my smelly train around the applause for Jessica. How did you know it was mine, by the way? Because it smells! <laughs> right, third and final object for Jessica. What will it be? Right, Jessica. What is in front of your face? Might have to put your hand in it. Is it slime? Isabel, come and have a look at the slime. It is slime. Well done. Right, right, well done, Jessica. That was a really good effort. Uh, I think she was very successful there. Uh, but the meaning behind this and the reason I've done this is because when Jesus healed the blind man in John chapter 9, he accused some of the people of being blind because they couldn't see what was right in front of their face. Because the Saviour, the Messiah that they had been expecting was there. He was there, Jesus. Uh, and they couldn't see it, even though he was right in front of their face. And they couldn't see it because he wasn't what they were expecting. Uh, because his ideas were challenging. And because they thought that they knew best. And sometimes we can't see what God is doing in front of us. Maybe because it's not what we're expecting. Maybe because it's challenging. And maybe because... Uh, we know best. And maybe God is speaking to us right now uh, in some form or another, but we're not really hearing it or seeing it because of those reasons. Maybe it's because uh, we don't want to see sometimes. We don't want to see what God is doing because it means changing something in our lives. And so the challenge is today is for us all to open up our eyes for us all to take the blindfold off and to see God right in front of our face because he's there. He is all around. He's in creation. He's in our conscience. And he's probably trying to speak to you right now. The Bible says those who seek shall find. So let's open our eyes, take off the blindfold and look for God. Amen.